Welcome to the Dreyway. Yes, another episode. We count down the days until Trump takes office. And I want to get started right away because you guys are hitting me up in the messages over and over and over again. First of all, thanks for joining me on the Dreyway today. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, hit the button. But let me get right into what I want to talk about because uh, everybody keeps hitting me up about this uh, deportation. And we, before we start talking about uh, going up and, and, and mass deporting people, I want to read something to you that may sound very familiar. And it, start, and it says, Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. The wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless temps tossed to me, I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Yeah, that comes from the Statue of Liberty. That has been standing there next to New York and New Jersey. And while meanwhile, millions of people have come to this country reading those words. This to me is what America is all about. But in the recent election, we voted to be just the opposite of that because the, the, the thing that has made America so great, so great are all the people that have come from around the world to live under freedom, a constitution that some very smart men put together and people have come around the world to live under those rules and become Americans. And we have become the most powerful nation in the world because of it. I mean, we, we have people from every stretches of the globe that are now Americans. But what we simply can't seem to get away from, we can't, I mean, if you can look back on newspapers, 100, 150 years old, 100 years old, I mean, you can look at the oldest newspapers and you can still see the thing that we just can't get away from. I'm here, you're not, you know, stay away. I, I, I wanna enjoy all the riches of being an American. I don't want them for you. But that is not, that is not what this country stands for. You, you saw those words. You heard me read those words that come right from the Statue of Liberty. It doesn't say bring us only your best and your whitest. It doesn't say that. And, and, and now we have an administration that is going to go throughout the country and start deporting millions of people in many cases who have been here for decades and who have paid taxes and been a member of this great nation for years and years and years. It doesn't make any sense to anyone it's and, and it's one of the cruelest things i've ever seen people talk about when, when i when i talk to republicans and they start talking about oh the border and you know we have wide open borders and people are just coming in here and doing this and doing that i'm like no they're not we have laws if people come in and break the laws we get them and we put them in prison most of the people are coming here the overwhelming majority of people are coming here to be free as we are, to experience the American experience, to build a life just like your grandparents or your great grandparents did. You weren't, I mean, you, your family didn't originally come from here in 99.9% .9 of the case. Your whole family immigrated here too. And some sometimes, <laughs> either legally or illegally. That, that seems to be the thing that we want to hold our hat on. Well, my parents came here through a proper channel. Not all your parents did, not all of them, no. In many cases, a lot of parents got here any way they could. But the, the, why do we demonize these people? They are an integral part of what, again, makes our country great. The only thing that we need to do is have a proper immigration system. That's all a system that goes, okay, 
Let's do these steps that in five years you can become an American citizen. Or these steps where in seven years you're an American citizen. Whatever the steps are, whatever you want to make them. But let's upgrade a system that's 50 years old that everyone says is out of date and not applicable and doesn't work. Because right now the plan is with Donald Trump coming into office, the plan is lunacy. The plan is cuckooville. The plan is I don't have any brains in my head whatsoever. Because if you think deporting people out of this country is a positive plan, you are dumb as shit. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You're dumb as shit. These people in many cases uh, it, it, are vital to what makes this country run. How do you think we pick our, our vegetables and fruit? How do you think we do? Uh, have you guys not checked out who the, who's cooking your food in restaurants? Have you ever gone into a restaurant and seen who's really cooking your food or taking care of the children or acting as babysitters or, or au pairs? Have you, have you looked with your eyes what is going on in America and how vital many of these people are and how they are a net positive to our economy? No, you haven't paid any attention to that. You've listened to an old fat guy sit on stage and go, yeah, let's deport people. Let's, let's get rid of them. They're taking your jobs. And you've listened to stupid nonsense. And now you're, you're sitting here and you're going you're gonna to believe that we're going to put in the infrastructure and the funds necessary to rip apart families all across this great country and deport them where? How do you even know where, these, where you should deport these people to? Do you, how do you know if they're not Guatemalan or Venezuelan or Mexican? How do you know? The whole plan is ludicrous. And if you think over the next four years, millions and millions and millions of people are going to be deported out of this country, you're as dumb as Donald Trump. You're as dumb as he is. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think. Am I way off? Am I way off? I don't think I am. I, I, I don't think that you know, the best of this nation is going around and ripping families apart and sending them God knows where. I think it's a horrific, horrible idea. But welcome to the Dreyway, everybody. Let me know what you think in the comments. We got more show to go. I'm glad you're here. I want to talk about, I want to talk about Joe Rogan. <laughs> I, I want to talk about Joe Rogan because I want, I want Democrats to do better in the future. And I don't think we did very well with young males, even middle, even with men of middle age. I don't think we did as well as we could, but we have to go where they are. And, and you know, that's, it's like, uh, I don't remember the guy's name off the top of my head, but you know, one time he was asked, um, you know, why, why do you rob banks? And he said, that's because that's where the money is. <laughs> and with Joe Rogan, it's the, it's the same thing. You know, he has a massive male audience, a massive male audience. So if you want to reach men in that age group, guess what? That's where you need to go. That's where you need to visit. That's where you need to, you know, uh, get on his podcast and sit there and reach out to those young men and say, look, your future is in the Democratic Party. The Republican Party doesn't have anything for you. The Republican Party isn't the party of the future. It's the party of the past. And they keep talking about making things the past. Let's let's go back the way, you know, when when things were great, let's make America great again. Let's go back and make it the way it was good back then. Yeah, that doesn't exist. The best America is the, the America of the future. We have to start looking at the future and we gotta get young people to start looking at the future because the future is, is oh my gosh, 
with AI and all the changes that we're gonna have over the next two, three years, it's, it's going to be unbelievable. But that's, that, but that's the message that we have to start talking to our young people with. Not just women, but with men too. And making men understand that, you know, we have a good path with you. You know, we have a good path in the Democratic Party for young men because we're looking to the future, not to the past. Young men, your, your, your future's not in the past. Your future's in the, in the your, your good future is in the future, not in the past. So we have to reach out to men. We have to reach out to them. And if that means going on Joe Rogan, if that means going on shows that they watch and, and, and podcasts that they listen to, that's an important thing to do. Let me know what you think in the comments. How do you think Democrats should reach out to young men? I want to know in the comments. Let me know. Stay right with me. I got more to talk about. I want to, I want to talk about the team, uh, about the team that Donald Trump is assembling because I have a lot of questions coming at me every day. And when I say every day, I mean every day. People are, what about Social Security? What about, you know, uh, deportation? What about this? What about that? I want you, first of all, to remember this, all right? So far, based on the people that Trump is putting in place, these people have little experience on how the government actually works, you know, on how the government actually functions. Because, you know, there's a, there's a House, there's a Senate that, you know, a, a bill has to be written, a bill has to get passed into law. You, uh, Donald Trump doesn't have a dictatorship. Donald Trump's not going to just be able to do whatever he wants to do. And let me let me put some good faith in it to, in, in for you. Um, there are some people in the House and some people in the Senate that aren't going to be exactly the most pro Donald Trump. So just understand this, no matter what they try to get done, they're going to be dealing with a lot of young people trying to get it done, particularly in the Senate, because Mitch McConnell is stepping down out of leadership. Mitch McConnell is a Senate expert. He is a Senate expert and, and him and him and Schumer are like this and they know how to use little tricks and Schumer is going to be an expert at slowing stuff down. If you think they're going to, the Democrats are going to let them just whip through things in the Senate. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen at all. And, and it's going to be Chuck Schumer's job to, to purposefully slow everything down and be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, let's do this properly. And in many cases, they're going to have to get 60 votes. And yeah, 60 votes aren't going to be there for anything Donald Trump wants to do. So anything that you get done without 60 votes can easily be erased in the next administration. Easily. Uh, it, it's not easy to get rid of things that got 60 votes in the Senate. That's a whole separate and different ball game. So just know this, Donald Trump already is making a huge mistake. And when I say a huge mistake, his huge mistake is he is putting people in positions that have no experience whatsoever. And in many cases, nobody's gonna take terribly serious, especially on the first meeting. In many cases, just to even take people seriously, there's going to be needed three and four meetings, which takes time. Everyone, whether it's the Senate, uh, the Democrats in the Senate, whether it's Canada, Turkey, England, everyone is going to be slow playing Donald Trump because Donald Trump is a lame duck president. Donald Trump is done in four years. So everyone Everyone across the world is going to try to move things as slowly as possible because eventually time is going to run out on Donald Trump. And when time runs out, he's gone forever. He's history. So everyone is going to be playing the slow game. Everyone around the world is going to be like, and not in an exact hurry, to do anything real quick. Because the sooner Donald Trump is gone, 
the safer the whole world is going to be because Donald Trump is a complete disaster from the last time he was president. Millions of people lost jobs. We had a pandemic. He had no clue on how to handle it. And it was a complete disaster. And hundreds of thousands of people lost their lives because Donald Trump had no idea what he was doing. And guess what? Now he's surrounded himself with a bunch of people again that have no idea what they're, what they're doing. So everybody relax, everybody take a pill and, and calm down because the Democrats in the Senate and the House are gonna make sure things move as slowly as, as possible, but so is the rest of the world. The rest of the world is gonna try to slow down everything too because like I said, Donald Trump is a lame duck president the minute he walks in the White House. Thanks for joining me on the Dre Way. Yes, we're counting down uh, days until, uh, and you'll see it in the title, we're counting down the days until Trump takes the White House. But just know this, the minute he walks in, the hourglass is turned over and his time is extremely limited. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a great day, everybody. Don't forget to join me every single day for the Dreyway. Make sure you're right here every single day. Uh, have a great day, everybody. We'll see you later.